And this recording is of a C pendula a question. A question a involve a electromagnetic induction or electromagnetism. Um, Faraday's law, basically. So in the description box is a Tolama links for other recordings for this question paper November 2019. As well as in, in the description box is a a link to another channel in Zamugui Kulisa. So I would appreciate it now we are subscribed on a corner. It's only for it's that one you created only for ama lesson. So please subscribe. Um guyo na nangabuna ma like maybe ufuna ufunda something about ama Euclid in or ama functions. That's the go to channel. So Lana basically I'm answering ama question papers mostly. So um check it out now as well. Well, question nine. Lana, give us a coil with 200 windings or windings, potato, potato. I mean, I read this word as windings, windings, and a surface area of 2.8 times 10 to exponent minus 3 meters is rotated at constant speed in a constant magnetic field of 2.5 Teslas. And an EMF of 3.5 volts is induced in the coil. So, Lana, let me just give a picture. Just a visual of this problem. Now a magnet. Here's another magnet. La. Um, let's use a different color. Again, la. And we also have this coil this coil now lana they don't see they don't specify um the coil is rectangular or secular or whatever whatever but minangzo as you the coil it's a rectangular in shape so let's say lana we have a north pole and then lana's no south pole and then of course number magnetic field lines from north to south 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 so the direction is from north to south north to south and then they say the field strength the magnetic field strength it's 2,5 teslas yes 2,5 teslas and then latching extend the lama 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 coil now my ends are a coil, right? So now we rotate a coil le, inside this magnetic field. What happens? Current the flow and then induces a EMF. Faraday's law, law, but more about that a bit later. Let me just provide a visual of the statement. It's just not that cool when doing my calculations. And then, okay, let me explain this. This is our coil. The coil lena in our windings. Let's say the coil lena was even say copper wiring, right? So, that copper, yeah, a winder. That's one, one winding. Yeah, a winder footy, two winding, three, four, five. Jalon jalon, tilling is in figure gubani. 200 so that's what 200 windings so lana snagaiki we have 200 windings and then the surface area of this coil the surface area it's this area here the area inside this coil it's what was he pay on about 2,8 times 10 minus 3 this is squared not meters but it's meter squared since this is a area and then the umasatale coil is a rotator what happens it lama ends of this coil see taller a emf of 3.5 volts we get an emf of 3.5 volts 9.1 9.1 name the law represented by the statement above but you consider the statement the following statement the magnitude of the induced emf across the ends of a conductor is directly proportional to the rate of change in the magnetic flux linkage with the conductor 
that is Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. No more available to Faraday's law of electromagnetism or electromagnetic induction <coughs> of electromagnetic induction electromagnetic induction 9.2 9.2.1 calculate the change in magnetic flux if the angle of of the coil relative to the magnetic field changes from 0 degrees to a 90 degrees uh huh uh huh so it's for the magnetic flux change so this is the magnetic flux change so the formula for this magnetic flux change is change in magnetic field strength times area times cos theta so therefore our calculation goes like this b is represented by the value it's a representation for 2.5 teslas it's the field strength a it's the area the surface area and then theta lama angle of cp1 they change from five from initial to final language so lanas is what 2.5 times 2,8 times 10 exponent minus 3 um, times um, okay let me use the square bracket uh, cos 90 degrees minus cos 0 degrees why it's because of there's a change from 0 to 90 this should be taken as cos theta final minus cos theta initial right however a change in anything it's final minus initial so that's why it equals 90 minus cos 0 degrees so lana 2,5 times uh, oh not so, not so. it's negative 7 times 10 to exponent minus 3 negative 7 times 10 to exponent minus 3 Weber now you answer it again. The change in magnetic flux. 9.2.2. The time it takes the coil to rotate from la to la. Tati scatters ngagana and with the coil rotated from 0 degrees to 90 degrees. Now we use U. Ohm's law. I mean U. Faraday's law. Faraday's law. I need to use a Faraday's law la, divided by the change in time 3,5 is equal to minus 200 windings 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 potato potato minus 3 divided by the change in time then divided by 1 I cross multiply then I end up with something if finally negative 200 negative 7 times 10 exponent minus 3 divided by 3 comma 5 divided by 3 comma 5 let's see as bone as bone so it's negative 200 close negative 7 times 10 exponent minus 3 divided by 3,5 our answer is 0, 0,4 0, 0,4 in seconds this is our answer this is our answer it's load shading load shading load shading Ching plug in a laptop okay anyway so our answer is 0, 0,4 seconds this is the time this is the time I'm um, taken for the quality move from 0 degrees to 90 degrees 9.3 9.3 ni erase in 9.1 or 9.2 9.3 i think so say the sketch la. so that we can answer so 9.3 the last question 9.3 yeah. by what factor will the induced emf change if a coil with 100 windings is used under the same conditions 
So basically, but he, um, he coiled to rotator from zero degrees to 90 degrees. The induce, okay, wait, wait, wait. The electromagnetic, the magnetic field strength is still 2.5 surface area is still 2.8 but this time around we are only using 100 windings instead of 200 what will be the emf induced by what factor will will the induced emf change if a coil with 100 windings is used under the same conditions give a reason for your answer uh, the EMF induced is over half of this, 3,5. It's going to be half. Half. Uh, it's over half. Um, oh, another phrase Y7 is what he. Two times smaller. Yeah. Two times smaller about two times smaller why is that so because of EEMF let's check Faraday's law Faraday's law with EMF is equal to minus n times change in magnetic flux divided by the change in time so this is directly proportional to this so now the windings are increased by a factor of two right so let's say maybe i'm a winding sway to be 400 this time yeah what for an uti we the 200 windings while multiply by two at 400 so the emf now is over two times therefore since lana our windings are 100 i 100 it means that it's half of load 200 so therefore the emf now is over half it's because of EMF is directly proportional to the number of windings or windings. So yeah, question nine of Pelelalana, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I hope we enjoy it. So for now, let us on the next video. Bye bye.